Good day to you. My name is Maria Konjelska and you are watching Poland Daily Culture. With me here in Villa Intrata in Villanov Palace next to Warsaw is Julia Polacek, one of the members of the Bitanter program. Thank you for having me. Have you heard that Mr. Bingley came to town and actually he has 5,000 a year? Oh really? 5,000 a year? Absolutely, and we do have to be introduced to him. I have to persuade Mr. Bennett to take us and of course all girls to the next ball, especially that the regiment of officers is coming as well. <gasps> oh, officers? Officers, we just came back from Bath. It's oh, absolutely amazing. Bath, we need to go there. Absolutely. So that's probably how our conversation would normally look like if we lived 200 years ago. Wear those dresses, such kind of gowns, such kind of jewelries, this hairstyle, and talk about affairs of the society if we were lucky enough to be in this part of society. So uh, the Bitantki as a program today are trying to feel a little bit like back in, the, in those times. So in, I would say, Jane Austen, empire clothes, just after the French Revolution. A little. Yes, yes, I love Jane Austen novels and I really wanted to feel like Jane Austen character, like, of course, uh, one of the sister of Bennett's. I really love Pride and pre Prejudice and because of that I'm wearing this beautiful dress and I'm acting like one of the, one of the ladies sisters. Those one of the ladies, yes. <laughs> but of course it's not one of the things which the Bitantki program is doing, is an element of it. Uh, because it's a charitable program, an educational program, so you learn the history and you learn uh, what's, what's happened before. And you also have auctions at different charitable organizations in order to support them, especially right now during COVID. Am I right? Yes, yes, of course, we do it a lot of things. Right now, we, we are preparing the auction for Skolimov. And we want to uh, have some money for, uh, for these uh, people who live in Skolimov for so Caritas. Is, is there are, Skolimov is a house for veteran actors who are in their retirement. And as we know, usually, especially back in time, actors and all people of culture didn't really have any retirement programs uh, that many accepted private funds. So they, that's why they, most of them have placed in a house called Skolimov. Yes, yes. Uh, they are living in this big house because they don't have money for living when they are like 80s. So we want to support them. So the program is supporting them. And of course, the program is also connected very much to Vilanov Palace and the Museum of Vilanov, which is one of the most historic, beautifully historical place in Warsaw. It was not destroyed during the World War II. And I know you have classes uh, which, uh, during which you are taught about uh, ladies of Vilanov, so different women who lived in the palace. Uh, tell me, please, which one is your favorite one? It's a hard question because my mom is from Vilanov and I love this place. It's my favorite place in Warsaw. And it's hard to choose because I was in school in Vilanov next to the palace. So I really love palace and these gardens. There is rose garden in the palace. It's really great. <laughs> I would say that the gardens are even an additional part of, a muse of the museum. But I, my question was like, which one of the ladies of Vilanov you like the most? Which one is the most inspiring for you? I'm not sure, probably Marysenka. Which probably is the most famous as Yes, well. <laughs> yes. And she was a wife of King Sobieski. Yes. Who was oh, actually, actually the uh, victor under the uh, Vienna siege against the Turks. Yes. And she lived here. She brought here, I would say, many of her children. Yes, and many beautiful clothes because uh, she came from France. From France. And there, in France, there was beautiful dresses that in Poland there wasn't uh, this no, I knew dress. them. So they brought the fashion back yes, here. Yes, from, yes. <laughs> and uh, they brought the fashion back here. 
and uh, that's why she introduced the fashion to, to people. And what the Bitantki are doing, they are introducing back the fashion of the old times, isn't it? A little bit kind of working background. Yes. <laughs> and that's great. How do you feel in the, in the dress? Oh, I feel great, uh, like Elizabeth Bennet, of course. I wanted to have like hairstyle like Elizabeth Bennet. I think that kind of dress, it's not for me for like every day. It's good to, to wear that dress like today, but it's not the kind of dress that I would wear like normally. <laughs> well, probably of course, because it takes so much time in order to put it. Yeah. But it's not that much uncomfortable. There is also a very, a very deep neck opening. In those times, uh, women very often suffered for tuberculosis because of the, the opening of the neck and the, and the bust and everything. Yeah. <laughs> so I would say those are not the perfect dresses for pandemic. Yes, <laughs> definitely. It's a, it's a different thing. But I, I would say that the fashion those times was more important than, than illnesses. Yes. <laughs> Maybe it's a good summary to say that people back in the history and women especially looked more at the fashion than their in own health. It gave us kind of a perspective that the mortality is not always the most important thing. And having those stresses on us reminds us very much back of time, history, passing, and the fact that we should cherish and remember what happened previously in order that our times also not get forgotten. And I'm very happy that she stayed with us today for Poland Daily and that we were able to capture a little bit of time traveling with you as well. Thank you and see you in the next episode.